Hey everyone, it's Greg again from D-Link and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the parental controls on your D-Link router. Now the first thing you need to do is log into your router. If you're not sure how to do this, please check out our other videos. Now once you're inside your router configuration, you want to click on the advanced tab at the top and then click on the access control button on the left hand side. From here you want to go ahead and enable access control and then click on add policy. A wizard's going to launch and we're just going to go ahead and hit next to start it. So the first thing it's going to do is ask you to create a policy name. So in this case I'm going to be blocking some sites so I'm going to just call it block sites. Hit next. The second one is setting when you want this policy to take effect. So whether you want it to be always in effect or if you want it for a particular schedule. So for example if you want to only if you want to block the internet from 10 o'clock at night till 6 in the morning. So you can customize the schedule any way you like. But in this example, we're gonna stick it at always here. Hit next. Next is selecting the machines or the computers that you want to apply this policy to. You can do this by IP address, by MAC address, or by specifying other machines, which would be everyone. In this example, we're gonna use everyone. So I'm gonna put a dot next to other machines and then just click on OK. Alternatively, I could choose from the IP address box. It'll show you all the devices that are connected to your router. You can select them individually. However, because I want to apply this to everyone, I'm keeping it at other machines. So once I have the machine selected there, I'm just going to hit Next. Now it's going to ask you what type of filtering you want to do. So there's a couple different options here. So we have log web access only. So what this will do is it will allow everything, but it, it will log all the websites that are visited. There's block all access, which will block internet and connectivity altogether. And then you have block some access, which allows you to apply a web filter, which is website blocking and some advanced port filters. Now I'm going to enable both of these in, for this example and show you what the differences are here. So clicking next, it's going to take me to the port filter section. Now the, what the port filter does is it allows you to block particular ports going out to the internet. For example, if you wanted to block all FTP access. So if you didn't want anyone in your network to be able to access anything on FTP, or if you didn't want anyone to be able to access any websites, or if you wanted to block only certain websites or block certain FTP servers, this can all be done through the port filters. So in this example, I'm going to show to block FTP access. So I'm just going to call it block FTP. Now for the destination start and destination end, this here is what IP addresses on the internet that you're wanting to block. Now because I want to block all FTP servers on the internet, I'm going to leave it at default. So saying from an IP that starts here or ends here, anything in between, I want to block all of them. However, if you knew the IP address of a particular FTP server on the internet that you want to block, you could enter that in both of these fields here. Again, in this example, I want to block all FTP server or all FTP access. I'm going to leave these at default. For the protocol, you need to specify it. So in this case, we're going to go TCP and the destination port, we're going to specify the port that we want to block. FTP uses port 21, so I'm going to put 21 in both boxes here. Clicking next, it's asking me now if I want to enable web access logging. So logging all of the websites that are visited. I'm going to leave that disabled and then click save. Now depending on the router you have, it may ask you to reboot it, uh, which is fine. In this case, it's just giving me a countdown. Some routers may also, the screen might just flash or it might just take you right back to the uh, access control homepage. Okay, click and continue. Brings us back to the access control page. So we've enabled website filtering. However, we haven't specified any websites yet. So once I've enabled the access control, I want to come over on the left hand side and click on website filter. From here there again, we have a couple of options where it says configure website filter below. So by default, it says deny computers access to only these sites, or you can also specify to allow computers only access these sites. I'm going to keep it at deny 
to these websites and I'm gonna put in here facebook.com so if I want to block uh, my kids from accessing Facebook and once you have them all populated again you just click on the save settings button click and continue brings us back to the home page so now to test this out I'm just gonna open up another tab and if I try to go to facebook.com I get a forbidden web access prompt come up so I'm not able to get there if I try to access an FTP site it's just gonna sit here at loading and then it'll eventually give me a page cannot be displayed thank you for watching and for more helpful videos please check out support.dlink.ca